Hello, this is Christy. Today I would like to show you a little free tool that is very helpful in video editing, particularly if you want to do basic operations to a video clip without actually importing it into a software that is doing video editing and then edit the video and re-encode it to save a different version. If you need to cut video or if you need to remove the audio track or subtitles track from a video, this is a very good tool and the beauty of it is it's free and also the editing it does for the files is lossless, hence the name lossless cut. And I, I've been getting this question a lot. A lot of people are asking, how can I cut out parts of a video without re-encoding it, which will lead to loss in quality and is also taking a long time, especially if you have large files. So this little tool allows you to cut most video and audio formats and you can cut out parts of video or audio uh, maybe if you want to remove commercials from a video or a movie or something uh, you record it on TV and also you can merge combine files into a single file and uh, you can re convert the video to a different format. You can apply timecode uh, offsets and also you can automate things like if you import a list of cut points, it will automatically cut those into segments for you. So very easy and very useful tool. So I'm going to show you how it works today to cut out several segments from a single video file and you will see that it actually works instantly because it's very fast and it doesn't have to re-encode the video. It just cuts out the parts you want. So I'm going to include the link in the description to this tool. It's free and if you go to scroll down on this page here, you can download it on these uh, app stores, but uh, I'm going to download the Windows version from here. It's uh, already an executable. You can download and run it. There's no installation required. It probably needs you to install FFmpeg, which is the underlying tool that does all the heavy lifting. So this is a very simple interface for that. I'm going to download the Windows version. And once you download it, you simply run it and it will open a little window like this. And let me just make this larger here so you can see what's happening. So as you can see, this, the tool interface is very simple. It has a drop files area where you can just drop the video files you want to work with. It has a bottom line uh, strip of controls and a playback and so on. So let's have a look at how we can cut out a few segments from a video file. So I'm going to bring in my driving video sec sec sequence that I use in my uh, projects uh, a lot to demonstrate things. So you may see that I've already played with this here and created some segments, no problem. I'm going to remove these. Okay, so this is my file. Uh, here we go, it's playing like that. So you can quickly inspect your files and before you start cutting out pieces you need to decide do I keep the audio or not. So at the top here you say keep audio or not. You can you can turn off the audio like this so that means that the segments you're going to export are not going to have audio on them. So I'm going to choose to do that. Doesn't matter. It's your choice. And let's see how you can define segments. So if you drag your mouse over this bottom timeline here you can go to any desired position in the video and let's say we want to cut out this part where I have these flags on the pole so I'm gonna move the cursor to uh, about here and that's when you set an in point okay so let's say maybe I want to cut out the part from where this yellow car comes out of the frame so it goes out like this and I want to cut part from here. So at the bottom here, you have a few buttons on the left and a few buttons on the right. These are symmetrical. So if I want to set the cut start to the current position, I will click this little hand icon where my cursor is. Click on that. So you can see it has added the endpoint. So it's showing me a recycling bin here, which means that this part here is going to be discarded, not included in my export 
to uh, in my export files okay so then i can move to another position until the flags are all ready to go out so let, let's say about here so about a couple of seconds and then you use the other button on the right to set the cut end point click like that so this is my first segment you can see the segment here on the right so you can create multiple segments to export in one go these segments are actually going to end up as different video files they will not be combined into the same file you can do that after by importing those and combining them but if you create multiple segments like this they will be all saved as separate files and you will see how it works so this is segment one if I want to create a new segment I'm just gonna continue dragging things like this so I have these flags again here further down set the endpoint move the cursor to until the flag is almost ready to come out of the frame like that doesn't matter and set the out point with this button here let's do a third one so let's move on uh, again we see some flags here set an in point and set an out point here about where this flag comes out so like that so you see I have three segments already defined I have the duration of each segment shown here and you can continue doing this if you have a longer file uh, you know you can set as many segments as you want always using this in and out point like that if you decide you don't want to um, if you don't want to keep a segment you can click on it on the right side and you have a minus button here which says delete current segment and that's going to remove that particular segment from your export you can change the order of the segments so you can move them up and down and you can give them labels okay so once you're done uh, cutting uh, s defining your your cut segments you can then go and process the export so you can do that by separating the files and you have this button here export which says export four segments if you click on it before you click on it though you can actually set a working directory so you can click on this button at the top working dir unset which says the working directory has not been set you can set this so that the exported segments will end up in that folder if you don't do that though it will export the files in the same folder where the video was uh, imported from so the resulting files are actually going to be ending up next to your initial Sega video so let me just drag this folder here this is the folder where I dragged the driving video from and I'm gonna move this to the side so let's see what happens I'm gonna make this window smaller so all I have to do is now click export done you see how fast that was and you will see that in my folder here next to the driving video I have four new files corresponding to four segments I defined and each one has the timestamp in the the start and the end point in the file name so they are in order so if I want to play one of them let's say the, so the first one was about here where this first flag shows up let's see yeah so that's about right let me play it again okay second segment again with the flags third one and the fourth one so as you can see the export actually took like a second or even less than that it was very fast this tool does not lose quality so there's the name lossless cut and I've seen this question a lot online how do I cut videos before I put them into my editing program maybe Premiere maybe Camtasia whatever software you're using to do video editing and uh, if you need to go through a lot of videos and just cut out the parts you want it's much faster to do with this tool and then you just import the segments you need into your video editing and it's already cut out for you no loss in time or quality so I hope you enjoyed this video I may actually do more videos with this tool in the future showing the different functions 
it has. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and see you next time.